Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and today we're going to do part three. Yes, part three of the Never Have I Ever series. It hasn't been a awfully amazing series. It's not doing really well, but I need some content, and this is fun. So, we're going to do some more Never Have I Ever. All you have to do is, if you want to, is join in the comments and tell me which of these have you ever done or haven't done, and just have a bit of fun. Also, check out the previous two videos in this series as well, because it's all a bit of fun at the end of the day. Some of the questions are a bit racier than others, so only divulge what you want to divulge. And remember to always tell the truth in this, because the raven knows all. So, the first question today is, never have I ever walked in on my parents having coitus? Unfortunately, I have. Only the once, and never again. Never again. That is something you can never unsee, unfortunately. But, you know, your parents have the right to have coitus. And unfortunately, we were abed. I came downstairs. I walked in the front room at the wrong time. It happens. Never have I ever lied while playing this game. Nope, I have been truthful right from the start. I have never lied. Why would lying be any good? Never have I ever had a pet name for a significant other. I have. I have. I used to call uh, my ex Hottie or Sweetie. Uh, my nickname, uh, his nickname for me used to be Sexy. If you call that a pet name, I don't know. Um, she was she Hottie or Sexy or Sweetie. Uh, I had an ex before that tried to call me Babe. And that didn't last long <laughs> as a nickname. Um, yeah, pet names, I think they're a bit weird. Like, you know, cute, hottie, hunk, stallion. When you're, like, calling each other, like, bunny and cookie pie or something, I mean, <laughs> maybe not for me. Um, and this next question was, have I ever been given a pet name by somebody else? So I was called Sweetie. Um, sexy, just the normal generic. I can't stand things like babe and darling and, and all of that. It, nah. Never have I ever had a dirty dream about a super unexpected person. So obviously most of us will have a dirty dream at some time in our life, mainly through puberty, although adults can have naughty dreams too. Um, but about an unexpected person, not really. I've only ever dreamt of my significant other. Uh, unless you want to count Johnny Depp, then I will quite happily be prepared to have an unexpected naughty dream about Johnny Depp. Uh, never have I ever been accused of sharing too much on social media. Um, maybe. I think we all share, overshare a bit on social media. I think nowadays, because we put our entire lives on social media, everything literally every picture every moment of our life is photographed I think maybe we've all overshared just a little I mean someone had suggested that putting my mental health online was a bad idea but I found it as a coping mechanism and a way of letting people know that mental health isn't a stigma you can talk about it freely um but that was their opinion and I have my own Never ever ever fake the social media account. No, never fake the social media account. All my social media is out there. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and YouTube. I have nothing to hide. Uh, never have I ever ran out of petrol while driving. I actually don't drive. I know I am 40 years old and I don't drive because I have anxiety about driving. And the people that seem to drive in the UK are just idiots. I'm sorry, but the amount of accidents that happen around our way is just astronomical. I, I would hate to drive, but I wouldn't mind the freedom, though. Never have I ever um, dated someone super annoying only because they were cute. I wouldn't say so. I would say most of the people I've dated have been, like, on my level and were, like, of average cuteness, I would say super annoying because they were cute I think if you're dating somebody like that um super annoying no 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 I don't think I've ever dated anyone super annoying they have been cute but not super annoying that no 
Never have I lied on a first date. No, I can't say I've ever lied on a first date. I have always been truthful. Um, even on a first date now, I tell them about my mental health issues because I don't want it coming up later in the dates and they suddenly go, oh, okay. I'd rather get it out there. You know, everybody knows we're on what page we're on. So, no, I've I've never lied on a first date. Never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush. No, I have some morals. Using people's toothbrushes, using their soap, using their towel. I think things when it comes to hygiene, you should have your own stuff. If you forget your toothbrush and you're like, oh, I'm just going to use, I wouldn't even use my partner's toothbrush. There are some things like hygiene wise, you just don't intermingle even towels. You're touching your feminine areas. No, nah. never have I ever enjoyed a smell I suppose to find gross. Like what? Never have I ever enjoyed a smell I'm supposed to find gross. I suppose it de depends on what you find gross. I mean, I worked in a care home and people found the smell of ammonia and that hard in a care home, but I didn't find it that uncomfortable. It just became the norm. So I wouldn't say I've ever had a smell that I found to be gross. I, th I think you just cope with bad smells. Mm. Never have I ever been on a TV for an embarrassing reason. I've never actually featured on TV, and I'm quite glad of that. Um, my sister featured on TV many, many moons ago when she was younger. Uh, there was the writer of the old bear stories came into the school, Jane Hissey, and my sister was actually in the video. But apart from that, none of our family's really been on, on telly, thank God. I never have I ever done s several days without showering. Um, I would say I probably have two baths a week. I have eczema and my skin is irritated just by water. Uh, so it's two baths a week, middle of the week and then on a Sunday. Uh, and it's always been like that because my eczema, my skin just doesn't like water very much. But I, I have gone a few days without showering um, because I have a bath and my skin is quite susceptible to water which is a shame because i do love a bath i uh, never have i ever turned my underwear inside out so i don't have to wash it no because that is gross <laughs> i know there are men out there that have probably been like well i only need to go take two pairs of underwear on a week's holiday and i'll just wear them every other day and then turn them inside out every other day uh that's not what women do <laughs> um never have i ever been told i snore loudly um maybe once um apparently i snore more once i've had a drink um but no i personally have never never been known to snore loudly i've told other people they snore loudly definitely um never have i ever gone commando uh i hate to admit that i have Sometimes it happens. Um, you maybe forget. I don't know. I went commando maybe once. It's not something I like go out there and do. Um, never have I ever shaved my head. No, I've had short hair to about here. It's not really short, is it? It is compared to how long my hair is now, which is like astronomical. But um, I've never shaved my head. I would never shave my hair. I, I love my hair too much. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. No, but I would like one. But I would need to be put to sleep for it. Because I have anxiety and I don't like needles. Never have I ever been to a hen or stag party. I have. I have been to my sister's hen party. Uh, that was quite fun. Uh, we went to uh, Long John's on the pier and we had a little boogie and a little dance and a little drinky poos. Well, I might need your help with it. Yeah, I went on a Hindu with my sister for her Hindu, but I have only ever been on the one Hindu, luckily, because they can get a bit racy. Never have I ever gotten heated during a family game night. Well, my kids have a habit of cheating. 
quite a lot in family game nights or accused of cheating monopoly being one of them that monopoly is i think caused family arguments throughout history it's one of those games where you're just so competitive um never have i ever oh, thrown a surprise party for me i mean I, I threw my own 30th birthday party, which was a not really a surprise, but I've never had a surprise party thrown for myself. I've always done my own birthday parties and stuff like that because I like them a bit je ne sais quoi, you know, how I like them. Uh, I did throw myself a 30th birthday party um, and I did a, a fancy dress party and I threw that for myself, but I've never had one thrown for me unless you count my sisters booking a weekend away for my 40th, which I, I actually knew about. But um, never ever ever ate whipped cream straight from the can. I don't actually like whipped cream. I know whipped cream is uh, used in a bedroom aesthetic, although you can make other stuff with whipped cream i've never really tried whipped cream and whipped cream from the can i know you're meant to like squirt it in your mouth and people do that but never have i ever auditioned for a reality tv show no because i have sense no i haven't i know people that have i know a couple of people that auditioned for big brother um but i have never auditioned myself I, I know reality TV, watch it on the telly, but we are not participating. Never ever ever told my parents I was staying at a friend's house, but was really somewhere else. No, if I was going to go out to like clubbing or do something else, I'd just tell my parents they were quite lax parents, really. They didn't really care whether that was good or bad, I don't know. Um, but yeah. I never had to lie to my parents. I could just say I was going here, there, and everywhere, and they'd be, like, fine with it. They weren't, like, court martial parents. Never have I ever been to a psychic. No. I've never been to a psychic. I do watch Cancer, uh, Cancer Toro channel on YouTube, which I watch whenever he loads the tarot readings on there, but I've never been to a psychic myself. I know there's a few psychics. There's one in Yarmouth when you go on holiday. There's a couple of them around, but I've never thought to actually go to a psychic myself. Um, kind of not into that thing. I don't mind tarot readings and stuff like that, but psychics, it's a little bit too in-depth for me. Um, never have I ever lived alone. I have actually. I did actually spend the last three years of my life living alone um or at least the last two years of my life living alone and actually i don't mind living alone um sometimes it's okay sometimes it does lose its charm living alone obviously i have my youngest living with me now uh, but i had been on my own for the last two two and a half years it was okay you come home to an empty house you know the quiet can get a bit boring sometimes so i've always got something in the background music telly or something if not it's like silence so never have i ever sang karaoke i think we've all sang karaoke whether we sing karaoke good or bad that is the question that's the ultimate question is it good or bad karaoke um probably bad although i i can sing really well uh never have i ever stayed overnight in a hospital i have I have stayed overnight many a times. Uh, obviously, I've had three kids, so I have been in hospital at the very least a couple of nights. It's not the most joyous occasion to stay in hospital. The food is terrible. And being on a newborn ward with newborn babies, you don't really sleep either. Never ever ever deleted a post because it didn't get enough likes. No. If I'm putting a post out there, I'm posting it, you know, if it gets the likes, if it gets the dislikes, I'm not really bothered. I'm putting my post out there to get my point across or my video out there. And if it doesn't do as well, then it just didn't attract the right people, maybe. And the last one for this video, never have I ever been on a cruise no but i would love to i would love to be out on the open sea 
on a cruise with a hot tub and a sauna and some vodka, maybe the sun. Um, there are some nice cruises around that you can go to from the UK now. There's also a Disney cruise, I believe, leaving the UK now as well. Um, but I've never been on a cruise, although it does sound nice. Um, but maybe in the future, who knows? It's not cheap, though. An average cruise sets you back anywhere between like three and five grand, depending on where you're going, whether it's the Caribbean and, and all of that. Um, but yeah, it's it's something I wouldn't mind doing. I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, being seasick might be one of the things, but you can always get tablets of that. Um, I get motion sickness, but I don't know whether I'd get seasickness. Maybe because of the whole swaying, but I guess you wouldn't know till you tried. Maybe just a short cruise. You can get three-day cruises. You don't have to go for weeks or months. So, no, I've never been on one, but I wouldn't mind. So, if you want to like and subscribe, give us a big thumbs up. This was part three in the Never Have I Ever series. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you want to help the channel out with a PayPal super chat or super thanks and become a member, join the Raven crew. Let me know down below which of these have you done and haven't done. Also, share it out. It helps promote my channel to people that haven't necessarily found my channel yet but want to. And maybe you know some people that would be interested. And I will see you all probably for the last part of this series, probably part four. Um, but we'll see. And I will see you very soon. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.